In the previous episode, we discussed our project and did a quick hello world. And in this video, we're going to go ahead and lay out the primary look for our app. If you don't have Flutter installed on your system yet, we won't be going through that in this course. Take a look at the link in the description and follow the instructions for your system. So let's go ahead and create the files for our app. I'll be typing command space and typing terminal to open up a terminal window. I'm going to change the directory to where I keep my Flutter files. To create the new app, I'm just going to type in Flutter create grocery app. Now I just need to change directory to that folder and type code period to open up Visual Studio Code in the current folder. So the main file that runs your application is this main.dart file in the lib folder. We're going to open it up and completely clear it out. Before we actually get started coding, we're going to choose the design style we want to use for our application. One is the Cupertino style that matches iOS design elements. And there's Fluent UI that has a Windows design style. But for now, we're just going to use the material design for our app across all of the devices. So the first thing we will do is import the material package into our app. Next, we're going to do something that should look familiar to you. We're going to add that main function we did in the last video since it's required to execute the app. Inside main, since we're going to be using the material design style, we're going to run a material app. There will be a handful of keywords we'll be skipping for now. Const is one of them. Even though we're starting from scratch, there will be a lot of information on the screen that might overwhelm someone who's new to programming or Flutter. I'm not going to touch on every keyword because that's a lot of details so close to the beginning of this course. Just follow along. I'll highlight the important parts and anything I don't discuss now will be discussed in a future video. Material app has a home property that we are going to set to the home screen of our app, which will be the main screen with the grocery list on it for now. Of course it doesn't work yet. We have to create our home screen now, but this is where it gets a little more complex. We are going to do something somewhat similar to functions called a stateless widget. If you are using Android Studio or Visual Studio Code, you can simply type STLESS -E to auto insert it into your application, then give it the name Home Screen. One of the great things Flutter brings to the table are widgets. Widgets allow you to easily plug code into your applications. And they have properties you can use to configure various things about the app, like the home property we used in Material App. Container here is also a widget. We're going to remove container and add a widget called Scaffold. And we will set the Scaffold's body property to a text widget. Now we're going to run it. And success! We see the sentence on the screen. Well, kind of. To give you an idea of how easy Flutter is to work with, we're going to right mouse click on the text widget, choose refactor, and then say wrap with center. Now we will save our changes. And there we go, it's in the middle of the screen now. You may have noticed we didn't have to stop and restart our app to see the changes. This is a feature called hot reloading. There will be some times you'll have to restart an app, but hot reloading can make it a lot more convenient while developing your app. So now that we have a body, we can add an app bar to it. And with that, we now have to remove const up here and add it down here. We'll save and we can see our app bar at the top. It says this is our app bar. And finally, we're going to add a bottom navigation bar. Mm -hmm. 
And there we go, there's our bottom navigation bar. So referring to the mock-up we had in the first video, this is where the grocery list is going to be. This will be where the text field and the button is going to be. This is the profile where you can see your profile information and we have a button for settings. So we're going to put the list view here in the middle that will show our grocery list. And as the name implies, to view a list, you need a list. So in the next video, we're going to discuss lists and a few other things. See you there.